holiday season and four-wheel parts, where between now and December 25th, for every $50 you spend on a four-wheel parts gift card, in-store or online, you are automatically entered. Buy a $50 gift card and you get one entry. Buy a $100 gift card, get two entries. The 4WP gift card is the gift that keeps on giving this holiday season. But holiday savings are happening store-wide. So now's the time to take advantage and shop deals for your truck, Jeep, SUV, or UTV. Visit 4WP.com today and check out the Four Wheel Parts Holiday Gift Guide to see all of our holiday savings and specials. 4WP's holiday savings are here at all 95 Four Wheel Parts stores nationwide and online where you can shop and have your order sent straight to your door or pick up in any of our stores for free. Find your local store or shop online today at 4WP.com. All right, guys, what's going on? We are back again for another update here on the KMC Wheels Fishistics Baja 1000 presented by Four Wheel Parts and fueled by FNL Race Fuel. We're here. We're still uh, still awake. Are you guys all awake? You guys ready for some more action? It is now 9 o'clock. The race has been going on for about 10 hours. This is our 11th hour update, I think, something like that. So uh, we're about a little ways past the halfway point. So hopefully you, all you guys are hanging in there and ready for some more action. We're going to go look at the uh, at the race map here in a second and see what's going on. Let's uh, let's bring it up. Let's see where everybody's at. So it's getting spread out in the front, just like it was the last update. It's getting spread out again. So we have the number 10, Alan Impudia. I don't know who's driving now, but uh, I'm sure it's a different driver now. So Alan Impudia is leading the race. He's at mile 502. Behind him... Luke McMillan, and it is Luke driving. Larry Rossler's out. So we have, uh, we have Luke McMillan in the 83. And then after that, we have the, uh, the 76 down here. And the 76 is being driven by Toby Price right now. After Toby Price gets out, Nasser Alatia is getting in at mile 540. So they have about uh, 40 more miles to go, a little more than 40 miles to go. They got about 90 miles to go, actually. Toby's got 90 more to go until uh, he gets out, and then uh, and then Nasser's going to get in. So those guys are having a really good run. <clears throat> and a brand new Jesse Jones uh, Mason all-wheel drive truck. Now look who's coming up back behind him, Rob McCachran. He was uh, making his way up. I know Justin Bean Smith was driving earlier. Rob Mack, I'm sure, is in the truck by now. So uh, he's picking up the pace a little bit. It is his own truck. I'm sure that... Uh, you know, uh, Bean was just trying to get the truck to Rob in good position, which he did. Had a clean run, I'm pretty sure it looked like. Behind him, we got Abdali Lopez. He's the uh, in the number nine. We got the 89, and then uh, Justin Lofton back here. A lot of you guys were asking where uh, Justin Lofton to go was, or where he was. There he is. He's right there. You can see he's at mile 442. And uh, let's see, what else do we got? We have uh, behind him, we have 32. Now, uh, the 32, they've had a couple issues today. They were back up to fourth a little while ago, and then they dropped back down again. I know Dan McMillan is in the truck now. I haven't heard uh, what made them drop back again, but now they're back a ways. They were back up to fourth. Now they dropped again. So uh, they're moving. 
And then Robbie Gordon, like I said last update, he's just kind of cruising along. He's not setting the world on fire today. He's not, uh, you know, he's just kind of cruising. So he's uh, he's staying there. He's in a good position for, you know, he probably wants to be up a little higher, but uh, I don't know. Damon Jeffries is his other driver, so I'm not sure when Damon was getting in. He might be in the truck now. Damon might be in there. So uh, behind him is Robbie Pierce and then Mikey Lawrence. Now the uh, Andy McMillan truck, we did 100% confirm that Bryce Menzies rolled the truck. Uh, he rolled the truck where we saw it at zero miles an hour. I think he rolled it off the side of a cliff. He was there for a long time. It took him a while to get going again. I am assuming he probably took him a while to get it back up onto the course because that mic section where he was, it's uh, it's pretty gnarly. And if you go off the side there, it's really hard to get it back going again. They are in the championship hunt. And I think that Andy McMillan just has to finish the race pretty much, and they will win the championship. So they're still going. They're going to get the finish. They're out of the win, probably, unless all those cars in front of them break, which you never know. It could happen. But uh, they're going for the finish at this point and trying to get the championship. Let's go look at the trophy truck specs because I can see that they are right behind them there. So show the trophy truck specs. All right. We got a little bit of a gap now. <coughs> so we have Austin Jones out front and uh, behind him, the 261. Behind him is Sarah Price and the 204. Now, uh, see, she's starting to drop back a little bit. Sarah Price is trying to drive this whole thing herself. So by this point, you got to be getting a little bit tired. Uh, I mean, she was, she's got to be soaked. If you guys saw any of the videos earlier, they're basically driving through a swamp on the whole first part of the course. Everybody was soaked. They got to be soaked, and now they're going to be cold because it's going to get cold tonight, especially when they're going up over that summit. Uh, honestly, they, they need to almost like change a driving suit if she has another driving suit because they could like freeze seriously going up over that thing if you're wet. That definitely would not be good. So um, she's still she's still in the truck, it looks like. And there you go, it's just updated. So her and the 261 are going back and forth between second and third. So that's what's going on there. Austin is in the truck now. Brock is out in the uh, AJ Jones truck. Austin is now driving. We know that for sure. So Pecoy, uh, someone was asking, the 14, they were, uh, they were running third, and then they had to change an alternator. So they're down, but they're going again now. So Pecoy is going. I don't know exactly what position he's in because his tracker – as you can see, there's no 14. So I don't know where Pecoy is. I think he's probably around here, around Justin Lofton, maybe back here, maybe a little farther back, maybe around here. Just an, a guess. I don't know exactly where they are. All right. What other class do you guys want to look up? Who do you guys want to see? Let me know. You guys want to see 516 Baja Bugs? Okay. How many do we got of those? There's four of them. So let's see. Four of them. And the lead one is back here. Mile 231. It is the 569. And then behind him, we have the 588 and the 585. Behind that, we have the 550. So that's your uh, that's your 51600 cars for your uh, update there. Now, uh, what other class do you guys want to see? Class 10. I know a lot of you guys ask about that. So class 10, 1062 is the lead car there. 1016 is your next car. Then it's the 1022, the 1008, and the 1075. That's your uh, your leaders there. Someone was looking for 1033. Looks like they're running in about uh, sixth place right now there, Mark. And they're at mile 292 right now. And they're moving along. So that's your update there. Let's see. Someone Jeffries is driving 370 to 500. Okay, so Damon Jeffries is in the number 77. He's currently driving the Robbie Gordon entry to mile 500. And then I guess Robbie's probably going to get back in at mile 500. So uh, that's a little different strategy. Uh, they're just having him do a little section, and then Robbie's going to get back in. A lot of the other guys, once they were out of the truck, they weren't going to get back in. So a little different going on there. Um, the, the Bronco, everybody's always asking about the Bronco. They, uh, they've they been going and stopping and going and stopping. And uh, let's see, they are currently going again. They're at mile 253. They're in second place now behind Darren Skilton in the Baja boot, I think is what that car is called. So that's uh, what's going on. The Bronco's still moving. So that's good. They're just uh, cruising along. Class one, we need to look at them. Class one, we have uh, Brandon Gaughan still in front. Brad Wilson at zero miles an hour right now. That's not good. That doesn't look like an access road either. So hopefully uh, that's just a flat tire or something easy to change there. It looks like they just went to zero because, uh, th yeah, they must have just gone to zero. Here comes Mason Cullen, the FNL racing fuel car. They're running third. They've been running third all day, but... Uh, Brad Wilson stays stopped here. Mason Cullen might find himself in the second position in a minute, actually. So we'll have to uh, keep an eye on that and see what happens there. Another class we can look up for you guys. Let's check on the class 11s. We haven't looked at them for a while. Where are the class 11s? Okay, we got three still going down here. 
Looks like, yep, Dennis Hollenbeck is the lead class 11 at mile 206. So the class 11s are going at 206. You got Eric Lorenzo uh, in second, and you got Kent in the 11-13 stopped at a pit in third. So they're about a uh, third of the way done with the race. So for, or, yeah, a third of the way. Uh, no, they are a quarter of the way done. Sorry if it's 800 miles, a quarter of the way done. And uh, it's been about 10 hours so far. So uh, <laughs> class 11 is coming along. We'll see if they can get it done in the uh, in the time limit or not. They have 30, 36 hours, 34 hours. I don't know, something like that. We did hear another update. The finish line closes at 11.01 p.m. Sunday night. So tomorrow night at 11.01, the finish line closes. So you have until then to finish. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. The other class... Let's see. We'll get another class update, and then we're going to eat here in a minute because our food is just about here. So uh, we got to get some food in us and keep us going. We'll get some pizza. We'll get some monsters. Uh, Michelob Ultra we're going to have later. We can't have that yet because we got to keep doing uh, good updates for you guys here. And then uh, what other class? The 7F class. Let's go see if they have started yet. That's the pizza. Um, 7F. we got Brandon Walsh still going, still moving along. He's in first, followed by Dave Cole. Now it looks like Dave Cole wasn't tracking earlier, so uh, his tracker's back on, and it uh, looks like he's going again. The uh, Justin Park, 714, and Kelly McNeil is at zero miles an hour down here. So a little bit of a bummer there, but uh, hopefully they can get going. So that's a look at that. All right, well, I think that's, uh, that's a good update for you guys for this hour. We will uh, be back all night. We'll be back at 10 o'clock. Big thanks to KMC Wheels. Uh, four wheel parts, FNL Racing Fuel, Rigid, Alfred Distrib Distributing, Michelob Ultra, Hostile, PCI, Monster Energy. Big thanks to all those guys that let us bring these updates to you. And uh, if we get any other breaking news, we'll post it before then. If not, see you guys back at 10 p.m. <laughs> first patented curved light bar. Now, it just got smaller, slimmer, and smarter with the Rigid RDS SR Series Pro. This compact single row light bar conforms to modern looks and projects more lighting to get you further. Boasting a compact design, gentle curve, and the same proven rigid quality, the RDS SR Series Pro is a new, sleek, and sophisticated way to own the night.